Hey everyone, how's it going? Now, I've been having a lot of fun making some different surprise folds, and I thought of today I would show you how to make another surprise fold. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Freddy Fazbear surprise fold. So, hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with our Freddy Fazbear surprise fold, we need to begin by folding our paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper and I want to line up the corners and fold it in half, kind of like you're making a birthday card. So we're going to line up those corners, then just give it a nice fold. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it in half again. That way I'm going to have two little lines. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just fold it in half again. Now I'm using cardstock, so this is going to be a little bit harder to fold, but if you are using uh, normal copy paper, it should be a lot easier. Now this way, I can actually just fold this down and it, I can open it up. And now I have two little lines that can kind of help me when I'm drawing, so I know not to pass these lines. Now to start off with this, I'm going to begin right here, and I'm going to make the mouth. So we want to start here and we're going to draw a little line that's just going to go up, it's going to go over and come down. So we'll start right about here. We'll just draw a little line that's going to go up. We're going to come over and go down like this. Now right up here I want to make the nose. So to make the nose we're just going to draw a little line that's just going to go up, it's going to go over and down, and then I'm going to make it come down into here a little bit with a little curve. I'm going to make just a small little kind of long smiley face on there. Then we're just going to color in the rest of this just so we can kind of fill in the nose. Now starting here we're going to make the, or the bottom of the mouth. So I'm going to start by drawing a line that just goes down. We're going to come over and up like this. Next, starting here, we want to make the eyes. So I'm going to start at the top of the nose, and I'm going to make a circle shape that's going to come down to here. So I'm going to start right here. We're going to make a circle shape that just comes down. And I'll do the same thing over here. We'll start at the top, and we'll make a little circle shape that comes down. Now right across the top, I'm going to make a little line that goes straight across the top of the circle. And right inside of here, I'm going to make another circle for the pupils. So we'll just draw a little circle in here and a smaller circle. I like to then just color this part in. We'll do the same on this. That little circle is just like a little reflection. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to curve out and up. We'll do the same thing here. We're just going to go out and then up. Next, we're going to make a little line that's going to go up. We're going to come over and down. Right here, I'm going to make a little line that just curves around here for kind of like a circle that's tucked back here. We'll do the same thing here, just go up and then bring it back around. I'll add another circle inside of here and another one right over here. Right across the top, I'm going to make a line that goes over. We're going to come up and then bring it back. We'll do the same thing here. We're going to go over, up, and then connect it then you can just color this part in really quickly too, just to fill in the eyebrow shapes right here. So we're just going to color this in. Now at the top of the head, I'm going to draw a little line that comes up on each side with a little line across. And right here we're going to make a line that goes up, 
over and then down for the top of the hat. It just has to be a small hat because we don't have a ton of room up here. Next, right underneath the nose, let's draw a line that comes down. And I'm going to make three little dots on each side of the cheeks. Right underneath here, I'm going to make a little smiley face for the bottom of the bow tie. Then right here, we'll draw a line that goes down and then comes up at an angle. Let's do the same thing here. We're going to go down and just come up at an angle. Next, I'll draw a line that comes down on each side for the body. And we'll make a big sad face in here for a little detail. Starting here, I'm going to make a little curved line for the top of the arm on each side. Then we'll just make a little line that comes down on each side. So here is the first part of our Freddy Fazbear. Now the second part is to actually open this up and then draw everything on the inside. Now once you open this up, you're gonna have two halves of your little Freddy Fazbear. We have the top half and the bottom. So now we need to draw everything on the inside. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm going to draw a line that comes down on each side and I wanna draw it right past that little fold line. Then once I've done that, I'm going to just connect this. I also want to draw this line down a little bit farther too. Now starting here, I'm going to draw these two lines up above this fold line. So we'll bring this up here. Next, just connect it straight across. Now, starting here, we want to add some teeth in here. So I'm just gonna give him some normal square teeth. So I wanna draw a line that just goes down, over and up like a square shape, and I'm gonna do this on each side. Next, we're going to just add some more teeth in here. So we'll do some lines that just go down and over. And I'll do the same thing here. We're just gonna go down and then over. Do the same thing here, we'll go up, over and down, go up, over and down for those teeth. Then we'll just draw some lines that go over and then down. We'll go over and down, and we'll just do the same thing over here. Now, once we're done with that, we wanna draw a line that comes down here and another line that comes down here. Then I'm gonna draw a second line next to each one. Now there's lots of things you can put inside of here. I'm just gonna keep it simple and since he does own a pizza place, I'm going to just add some pizza in here. So to make my pizza, I'm gonna draw it at an angle. So I'll begin by making a diagonal line. I'll make two lines that come up then we'll just connect it for the crust. Right here, I'm gonna make kind of like a wavy line. It'll come to a point and then more of a straight line to come up. I'm gonna add a few circle shapes or half circle shapes on here for some pepperoni. Then I'm gonna add a little curved line here with another line that goes down and then up. And then you could always go and add extra little details around here. You could add things coming out of here, more pizza or maybe his microphone, lots of different things. I just like to keep it simple. So when we're all done, we can close it up and we have our Freddy Fazbear right there. Then when we open it, we got his open mouth with him eating some pizza. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.